the rising effects of global warming could make 2019 the hottest year ever. In 2018, the world was 0.83 degrees Celsius warmer than the pre-industrial levels. This is based on an average set between 1951 and 1980. This year, the average increase in global temperature is expected to be around 1.1 degrees Celsius. This brings 2019 close to the record-breaking heat increase seen in 2016 when temperatures rose by 1.15 degrees Celsius. All of this is thanks to human-driven climate change. In addition to the global warming, the unusual warming of the Pacific Ocean will further add to the already warming temperatures in 2019. This is due to a natural weather phenomenon known as El Nino. Normally, the Pacific Ocean accumulates heat continuously. During an El Nino event, the surface of the Pacific Ocean passes heat to the atmosphere, resulting in warmer air. This results in an episode of a so-called miniature global warming, which adds to the rising global temperature. While El Nino is a natural change in temperature, its impact has been more severe in recent years because of global warming, and these impacts will be worse as temperatures continue to rise. In fact, the past four years were the hottest ever recorded, and the 20 warmest years have occurred in the past 22 years. Rising temperature doesn't just heat up summers, it can also lead to other extreme weather conditions and disrupt natural weather patterns. It can change when and where snow falls or lakes freeze, and it may reprogram the very waves that oceans circulate. A 2017 analysis showed that around 30% of people around the world suffered deadly levels of heat and humidity for at least 20 days out of a year. If greenhouse gas emissions continue increasing at current rates, researchers suggest that 74% of the global population will experience more than 20 days of lethal heat waves. In other words, 3 in 4 people will suffer from extreme heat waves. Global warming is also causing more frequent and more intense hurricanes. The long-term average number of tropical cyclones in the northern hemisphere was 53, but in 2018, this number was raised to 70. The Arctic is warming at a rate twice as fast as the rest of the planet, and continued loss of ice and snow cover will cause big changes to air temperature, which will warm up because there isn't any ice cooling the surface anymore. Not only that, the permafrost layer that has been frozen for thousands of years is starting to melt, causing the release of methane, which is a far more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. This layer holds 1.8 trillion tons of carbon, more than twice as much as is currently suspended in the Earth's atmosphere. Scientists suggest that if the world is to avoid the worst consequences of climate change, global temperatures must not rise by more than 2 degrees Celsius compared with pre-industrial levels. These figures give us a clear message. We must take action now and work to prevent these changes. Before long, it will be too late.